we, we have here is an aftermarket uh, trailer brake, which we're actually going to eliminate that because it is real janky on the inside. There's this back brakes, front brakes. Um, have PB blaster in it. And this does not want to let go, which that one I'm not worried about. That just like, that's rounding that thing out. So then we have these. that one up this one however I tried to break it and it rounded out on me let's try it again no nope, it's just gonna round just rounding as well. Let's try something else. Okay. We can do something with that. Bad, I don't want to replace that, but we're going to have to. See if we can see a brand name. Oh, I do. I can't tell what that is. Anyway, that's going in to the recycling. Let's get this front or the uh, yeah, the front brakes off. So the reason I'm replacing the master cylinder is when you push on the brakes, it just shoves all the uh, fluid up, and what that's telling me is the little gasket that operates the front brakes is uh, broken or cracked or messed up or there's a gouge somewhere in the line um, and while I was doing the brakes it's just pushing air into the front lines so every pump every time you crack the uh, bleeder valve all these little air bubbles come up and that'll never stop as long as this is not working there we go good for this little truck anyway. All this crap and floating in and forever when it comes to this trailer brake. So this is the end. So they literally just bent it around there. That that is not a quality install. And then this is the speedo cable. And they basically just chunked that into the speedo cable hole. The grommets all loose. And then this wire goes to this block. I don't know what that's for. It looks like it goes up to this block. Pretty sure that one up there is supposed to be there. Don't think this one is supposed to be. Anyway. So we go under here, and there is that brake line, and it goes to the trailer brake, which is literally sitting inside this hole. Not a good install, so I'm taking it out. All right, so doing the bench bleeding out here in the wild. Uh, basically put the plugs in, make sure they are tight, Open the lid. You don't have to fill up to the line. But put the brake fluid in. Uh, I generally do this on a vise. It's much easier that way. Take whatever you're going to use. Uh, in my case, just a ratchet. Put it up against the thing. Alright, so basically I had to brace this up against 
an unmovable object and you just basically push this in a very short amount like three-fourths of an inch or so oops son of a bitch um, no more than that and you just want all the air just pump it a couple times keep going till you see no air coming out of the bottoms and that's it it's done uh, generally I like to use actual kit for it but all they provided me was those things so I don't like this company <laughs> so after some time spent at the parts store and I uh, also put a new end on here that was kind of a chore uh, I got the new master cylinder and it just slides right onto those two bolts and tight. I'm get it fairly snug. That should do it right about there. Wipe off any access as much as you can. Top this off, bleed uh, the brakes. This will be the third time on this truck I've done this. And uh, hopefully that'll be all it needs to be on the road. 